Hi, good evening, everyone. I hope all of you are doing good and thanks for your support. I hope you are liking my latest videos. If you like the video, share with your recipe circle to reach maximum people. I came with a new video. Generally, when you delete the purchase order, means when you keep the deletion flag to the purchase order, the release tab will be disappeared from the PO header. But if you want to trigger purchase order release procedure, although you deleted the, all the line items of the PO, means you want to trigger purchase order to your approvers, although PO is deleted, how to achieve? So how to trigger PO release procedure for a deleted PO? In this video, we are going to learn that. Let's go to the steps quickly. So when you go to the uh, transaction, ME22N, okay, you just put the flag or uh, select the checkbox of final invoice, which is at the item level. So that although you deleted the pure line items, still the release procedure will be triggered. So in transaction code ME22N, okay, in ME22N, in ME22N, okay. So you just keep the deletion uh, final invoice flag. After that, you delete the line item so that uh, the release strategy still will be active. If you don't keep that uh, final invoice uh, flag, then the release tab will be disappeared. Okay. So we are going to see that how does it work. I'm going to show you in a separate screen. If you want to achieve the same uh, thing, like users may not remember to flag that final invoice and they just go to the, all the line items and they just delete it. Still, you want to trigger pure release procedure, then you can activate uh, this baddie. Uh, you can tell ABAP that when the pure line items are getting deleted, I want this final invoice needs to be activated automatically. So by using this ME process PO CUST, by using this um, baddie, you can utilize to functionality of SAP uh, BADI to activate final invoice when the PO line items are deleted. So that still the in, uh, PO release procedure will be triggered and the approver can come to know that this PO is deleted. Okay, that I'm going to show you in the SAP screen so that you will get better understanding. Let's go to SAP. Okay. So uh, we are going to uh, create the PO first. ME21N. So in purchase order, when we create the PO, okay, we can give you our data. You can select two line items at uh, one line item, any part of your testing. I just uh, wanted to trigger the release procedure. Two packs, 10 kg. Okay. If you click on check button, the release tab will be triggered. So the release strategy tab is triggered based on the, the value and whatever uh, characteristics was maintained. Now, like I mentioned that if you delete the line items directly, what will happen? And if you want to have your pure release procedure active, then what to achieve? Okay, let's save the purchase order first. So purchase order is created. After purchase order creation, if you want to have release procedure after deleting line items also how to achieve that that we are going to test now so purchase order is created getting getting the database yes purchase order is there first we'll do that uh, normal uh, thing like without doing any final invoice click on delete 
items and click on check button so what happens the release strategy is disappeared from the po okay you saved it there is no release procedure so now if you want the business needs that although PO is deleted, even the deleted POs also need to be approved by the approver. If that is the requirement, then how we have to achieve it that I'm going to teach you now. Let's undelete the line items. Okay, line items are undeleted. We just make the first PO. Then there is some version is active that we can just keep it. Quantity change. Okay. Hmm. Now, what is our requirement? We wanted to delete the purchase order, but still we need release procedure. For that, what I mentioned, first step is go to final invoice, invoice tab and select final invoice. Okay, after selecting the final invoice, now you select the both the items and click on delete okay now you click on check button see still the release tab is there it's not disappeared because if you activate this final invoice checkbox although you deleted the line items still the po will be under pending pending for release pending for approval okay now we are going to see the purchase order how does the person who is approving how does he come to know that this PO is deleted. ME28, I am the approver. My release code is X1 and release group is XX. He can see uh, either he can see directly or else he can just give the PO number or else we can directly check it. I recommend you to use this view so that it will be effective to check the data. Okay, now you can see this. This is the PO, right? Which is deleted. See here, the PO which is not deleted to be delivered. There's some details you can see here, but the PO which is deleted, you can see. I think, let me open only one PO so that you can get clarity without any confuse. What is our PO number? Pass the PO number. Okay. Here, without verifying the PO, for example, if we double click on that button, system will take to the PO so that he can see the deletion flags. Without verifying that also, here you can see that open target quantity to be delivered, to be invoiced, everything looks zero okay so there is no pending okay if it is normal PO what happens in case of normal PO we see the to be delivered and to be invoiced that information will be seen so from this screen itself the approver can verify it whether this PO is deleted or not this is the way how we can see uh, the approver can see it or else he can double click on that and it will take to the ME23N where he can see the deletion flag so these two ways he can verify and uh, he can release from here okay from his level he approved and uh, the second approver also can check in the same way okay okay now we can verify See, both the people are approved and PO is approved. The deleted PO also, we can utilize the functionality 
if the business requires that the deleted PO also should be approved by the approvers because who has deleted, why did he delete? We want to know that. And the approver should aware about the deletion process and it should be approved. If he opposes that, you know, you should not approve it. Uh, you should not delete it. Then the approver can send that details. So if the approver wants to tell that you should not delete the PO, then he can reject it and then uh, they can make changes uh, on delete or whatever the further steps can be proceeded. So if you want to trigger PO release procedure for the deleted PO, you have to use the final invoice indicator before deleting. If you delete first, then if you want to activate final invoice, system will not allow you to do that. So before deleting the items, you first keep final invoice for any of the items and then you delete the item so that system will still activate the pure release procedure and we have verified it so this is the way how we can um, learn and uh, thanks for your uh, time i hope this video has given you that there is a new point to explore okay there is an option like this and uh, we can utilize this option to trigger pure release procedure to all the purchase orders which are deleted and if you like my videos Comment if you really wanted to share any information about the video or appreciations or else you want to share some suggestions because many beginners and many people are going to watch my videos so that if you give some valuable suggestions, uh, any interview questions and answers, anything if you want to share in the comments so that respective people can uh, utilize it and share my videos with your SAP cycle, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Telegram, anywhere you have there. At least share one video per week or per month one person can share it will be huge to reach to the people and uh, if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe and thanks again for your support have a good evening